Okay. And, uh, well, we'll show you that in a second. Mesh window there on each side, uh, rear opening there, and I guess that's about it. So, in here, so this is a, you know, see-through um, material to keep your dog dry, uh, to keep them warm if it's cold. Uh, it attaches here just with some Velcro. By the way, this is part two of the video because it's a long video, but it's, I think you're going to be, anybody who's a dog owner and a biker, I think would love this trailer big time, especially since it's not expensive. So I hope it'll be worth your time to watch both parts. I think it will be. Uh, so this uh, just uh, connects here with the Velcro. It's made to, there's buddy, where is he? There he is. He says, hey, you still making this dang video? Uh, with one hand. So this is made so you can roll it up like this. One-handed videography. Hey, you got some snow on your face. You've been eating snow. All right, here we go. We're going to put Buddy inside here. This is going to be a very terrible job of rolling this up. This is how it goes. Da, da, da. Uh, seriously, this is like the worst. Sorry. See that? Okay. Oh. Okay, you get the idea. This rolls up. So we put the other one on? We can't do it half, but half cocked. All right, so there's that. So the, that part rolls up like that. Very nice. So the dog's got ventilation uh, side to side and also through the top. And also the dog can see out but yet be rather well protected. All right. Okay, that's good. Now, inside of here. Okay, so I load the dog usually inside the back here. Hey, buddy. Come here, buddy. All right, so open up this. Now I've got my dog's big plush bed in there. Up, up, here, get the trailer. Up, nobody, come here. You can do it. Come here, boy. Up, up. Atta boy. See, he jumps right in there. <laughs> yeah, buddy, boy. Okay, zip this up. Again, one-handed. He loves this trailer, folks. At first, he, at first he was just became, you know, comfortable with it. And now he's gotten to where he actively likes it. <laughs> Especially if we're going on a trail ride. He loves trail riding up here in the high desert with the sage and the juniper and the pines. All right, there we go. So that zips up nice and nifty there. Okay, so then the next thing I do before we go for a ride is I come up here and open this. There you are. We'll take a look at buddy in here. There he is. Huh? Hey, buddy, you like your trailer? You do, don't you? Huh? So there he is with the, you know, under the, uh, behind the protection of the mesh. And then now, now here's the way he likes to ride. And of course I gotta be extra safe when we ride this way. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Alright, so this, just like the, uh, just like the rain, uh, just like the, uh, what? The roo combination roof and windshield here rolls up, this rolls up too. And when you do it correctly, which I'm not gonna do now, um, you roll them up together. It's amazing how difficult a simple thing can be do can be to do when you're doing it one-handed. Complain about that. Okay, so again, normally the mesh would be rolled up inside of this in a nice, neat and tight little roll. Okay, so now there he is. <laughs> Say, ah, 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 come here, boy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Let's go back in. No, come here, buddy. Come. Come here. Come here, come here. Up, no, come here. Up, up, up. Ah, a boy. Good boy. You look at you standing up. Look at you. What are you going for? Look at that. That's incredible. Look at you. Okay. Now, here's the first thing that you do. Oh, he doesn't have his leash on. Now, this is inside. You see, there's a lead right here inside the trailer, right? It's secured securely. See, look at it. It's secured. See that? See how well that is secured to the frame? Okay. And then I've got this knotted up so it's extremely short. Extremely short because this length right here when I put it around buddy's collar It's just the right amount where he cannot jump out and let me tell you this At first I had it too short and I was traveling with the everything open and He did jump out and he was running alongside the front wheel right here And he was just clearing it without getting run over by the wheel and uh, fortunately I heard 
something rubbing against his a coat that he was wearing, and it was a tire rubbing against his coat. So thank goodness he wasn't hurt or harmed in any way, but that taught me that, man, before you go anywhere, you got to make sure that this, this, this uh, leash connection inside the trailer is for sure positively, absolutely short enough that he, for sure, positive that your pet, for sure, positively, absolutely cannot jump out. Okay? Once you do that, he loves to ride this way, but he does. Look at him. He says, where are we going, Dad? He says, we going on a mountain bike adventure right now? And I says, not right now, but soon. So there you go. He loves it. Oh, what else? Okay, now, show you something else. You're such a good boy. Now, the underneath, this is, now, this is my dog's, uh, super plush, super plush bed, super thick. See that? Super thick. And when it's squished into this trailer, it's, uh, it's even more dense. Now, I don't really think it's safe or good for a dog to go trailing like we do. Even though the trails are very mild, they can be fairly bumpy at times, uh, intermittently, you know. So I don't think it's good for a dog to be bouncing around. So that's why I've got this, this big plush bed in there because it provides him with an incredible amount of, of cushion. And again, if you watch the video uh, where, you can, where, you, where you're seeing the trailer, you're seeing the trailer from, from uh, this view in my video. So you can see exactly what the trailer's doing when we're uh, run, running on the trail. You can see Buddy's reaction and everything. But uh, he, uh, you can, he, he'll sit sometimes like this or he'll lay down. He's very comfortable. And anyway, he, he, he's not thrown around. The bed that gives a great amount of cushioning for uh, for for his what his health and well-being and for his comfort. It also keeps him warm, and there's also room in here, as you can see, plenty of room for me to put in a nice big blanket with him, which I do. A big, nice, super nice blanket can go in there with him. Okay, and then back here, but he's looking back here. We're just about done with this video, folks. Now I've got the zipper caught in the bed. Just not cool. There we go. Only one you're videoing. Right? Okay. All right. Come here, buddy. Come. Ah, boy. Uh, back here. As I said, here's a pocket here for various things. And I think I've got an emergency roll of butt bags. I do. By the way, this trailer comes in a number of colors. Number of cool colors. Uh, now back here. Uh, we carry some stuff. Now here, the pink there. Somebody give me that. Uh, there's Buddy's water right there. Got his name on it. Buddy. Yeah, so I always carry with us in this trailer that water. Uh, this bowl for drinking the water. A little leash for going for walks, you know, away from the bike. And I got a full set of tools for the bike here. And that all just fits in the back of the trailer. Like that. Underneath Buddy's bed. All right. Is that everything? I believe so. And again, the trailer is really, really stable. Uh, this way. This way. You know, lifting this up like that. It's very, very stable. Uh, all directions. It's also got a fair amount of weight. Here's another thing. It's got enough weight that it's really not bouncy. You know what I mean? The trailer. And the other thing is... It's got enough weight that when you get going, when you get some momentum, the trailer gives you extra momentum, gives the bike extra momentum. That's my opinion from my experiences. Uh, even just a me medium speed of momentum, even when I'm pedaling this without the electric bike, even when I'm pedaling this trailer with my mongoose non-electric mountain bike, the, it doesn't feel like you're dragging a big old trailer uh, because the momentum of the, of the trailer, once you get going at all, I don't know, the bike just kind of cruises along and doesn't notice the trailer that much. Neither does the rider. And uh, same thing on the electric bike. Uh, the bike scarcely notices the trailer except in a good way. That momentum helps when you're cruising along so that you need less throttle when, once you're up to speed because you've got that extra momentum from the trailer. And it also doesn't drain the battery. It doesn't drain the battery extra from running the, 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 the bike uh, in electric assist or full electric mode with the weight of the trailer, with the weight of Buddy in there. It doesn't negatively affect my battery performance whatsoever on the bike all right so that's it this is mark and oh one take a little quick just for fun i just did a, a ride into town and the snow is melting there's a lot of dirt and mud so i got well, you probably can't see but the, the bike's pretty dirty <laughs> anyway um this is mark at e mountain bike adventures bend oregon and if you don't know where that is bend oregon is a little bit uh, east and south of portland all right all right, so this is Mark and Buddy. 
at E Mountain Bike Adventures Bend, Oregon, with a full review of the Schwinn Scamp Pet Trailer. 118 bucks approximately right now from Amazon. I really recommend it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Hope to see you soon.